Revolution, one of the co-organizers of today's march, please give it up for John Reed. We will, we will have a ceasefire. We will not go back to the mass slaughter of Palestinians by the IDF. If this pause does not turn into a full ceasefire, we will have a demonstration the size of which the capital of this country has never seen. And nothing, nothing will stop us coming onto the streets, chanting the slogans that we choose to chant and aiming to bring down any government, this government, the next government, any government that does not commit itself to freedom for Palestine. And it is wholly appropriate that we make that promise here because the whole problem began in Downing Street in the Ministry of Defence and in the Foreign Office behind me. It began when another former Tory Prime Minister became Foreign Secretary and his name was Lord Arthur Balfour. And he promised land that was not his to a people that did not have it and it began the dispossession of the palestinians and it has continued to this day and until that historic wrong is righted there will not be peace in the middle east And so we must make it clear that these great demonstrations are a huge engine at the heart of the Palestinian Solidarity Movement. But we must deepen that movement. On the UN Day for Palestine, every trade unionist, everybody must go to their employer and say, I am protesting on this day. I am walking out on this day. I will not stay silent on this day. And let's make it very clear to the Metropolitan Police, you have no role in political policing. You have no role in telling us what we can and cannot change. I say to them, there have been a few arrests on these demonstrations, but we don't have 1,000 Metropolitan Police officers on suspension or restricted duties because they are under investigation. We don't have that. And the last inquiry into the Metropolitan Police told them that they were institutionally racist, institutionally misogynist, and they had lost the faith of Londoners. So get off our back. We are going to protest, and I will not give up that right to protest. Because it is not mine to give up. It is only loaned to us loaned to us by the generations that came before, by the Levellers, by the Chartists, by the Suffragettes, and they won those things, and we will not be the generation that give them up. So keep protesting, and my solidarity with the school students who have so magnificently come out onto the streets. Don't 
Don't worry about government ministers lecturing you about missing lessons. Because you have learned the most important lesson there is. That when something is wrong, you stand up and fight against it.